In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Game It Advanced course. The Game It Advanced course is the capstone course in the high school game design and programming pathway. In this course, students will focus on mobile game development and the advanced game physics, mechanics, and multiplayer aspects of these types of games. The skills covered in this course include mobile game development, JavaScript programming, advanced game physics, UX and UI design, marketing and monetization, in-app advertisements, and industry awareness. Now let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the course modules throughout the course. In module zero, we provided everything that you and your students will need to get started with the course, including standards, pacing guides, information on Construct 3 and how to get set up with your students, and so much more. In module one, students will be introduced to the mobile gaming landscape and discover why this industry is one that they will be able to apply their skills and monetize. In Module 2, students will dive into the fundamentals of JavaScript programming, where they'll learn the fundamentals and the nuances of JavaScript programming and how it can be integrated with mobile game development. In Module 3, students will dive into advanced game physics and mechanics and learn how to integrate these cool features into their games. In Module 4, students will learn how to design modern mobile games and team up into a development team to design, produce, and execute their own mobile game. In Module 5, Publishing Mobile Games, students will learn how to get their games published in the various app stores and online. In Module 6, Marketing and Monetizing Mobile Games, students will learn about the marketing aspects of building a mobile game and how they can monetize their games with Construct 3. In Module 7, students will be able to apply what they've learned throughout their coursework to different industry client scenarios where they'll build out unique solutions to various industry requests and client design briefs. In the final module of the course, we provided some information and helpful resources to prepare students for the mobile game certification exam. Now that we've taken a look at the course modules, let's go ahead and dive into one to see what it looks like. Every course module is going to include the same general format. We're going to include a teacher's guide, lessons, a project, a formal assessment in the form of a quiz, assignments and resources, and teacher resources. Every lesson is going to have assignments that go along with it, and those can be found in the assignments and resources section here. Let's go ahead and dive into a lesson and take a look at what that looks like. These lessons are found within the STEMFuse Educate platform, and you can go full screen with them so that you can project it up onto a interactive whiteboard or students can also carry out these lessons individually on their own devices. Every lesson is going to include the same format where we introduce the lesson, we provide key vocabulary terms and definitions, the learning objectives for that given lesson, and then the lesson section. So ultimately the, the core content within each lesson. So using the various navigation, you can go full screen as I showed there, or you can collapse that side menu to focus on that section of the lesson. All of the lesson content is going to be super interactive and include things like videos, knowledge checks, different interactive components like drag and drops and so much more. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an assignment. All assignments in Educate can be taken outside of Educate and plugged into your own LMS. Assignments will be typically found in document form, which means you can either create a copy with Google Docs or you can download that assignment and open it with something like Microsoft Word. All assignments will include directions, deliverables, instructions, and more, depending on that given assignment. Students can submit their assignments directly in Educate or on your outside LMS. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a project in this course. Depending on the module, students will carry out different project work in individuals or teams. In this particular project, students will be building a game that incorporates advanced physics and game mechanics. All of the steps are provided step by step to get students where they need to be. So it makes it super easy for instructors to be able to plug and play with this curriculum. All projects are going to come with 
rubrics and additional resources to help students get started and help them along the way. Now let's take a look at an assessment in this course. All modules will include a formal quiz assessment, and these quizzes will include different concepts and knowledge points that students should be learning throughout that module. Let's take a look at what one looks like. From the instructor point of view, you can go through and see the correct answers for a given quiz and easily assign it in Educate and allow students to retake the quiz if need be. Finally, within every module, we provide a helpful teacher's guide. This resource makes teaching this curriculum so fast and easy, and ultimately, as we pride ourselves in plug and play, every teacher's guide is going to include the pacing, standards, lesson plan, helpful tips and information, project info, assessments, and teaching notes to help you along the way. Thank you for taking the time to watch this course preview. If you wanna see the course in person, be sure to request a demo to see all the cool projects, assignments, activities, and more that Game Advance has to offer.